There's a reason I won't go to Mockingbird Park. Not just because it's creepy. Not just because it's dark. There are twisty twine trees. There are weeds and neglect. But worse than all that is the mocking effect. As you walk the park paths, you'll hear a faint echo. Footfalls. Your own? In that dim and grim ghetto? Coming closer and closer as if someone's there. You whirl and see no one. Just fog in the air. So you whistle. It whistles. You cough. And it coughs. Then from murky mists, a gray shadow breaks off. It's your height and your size and your very same shape. And then it's upon you. No time for escape. You suck in cold air and then poof. It moves through you. <laughs> you laugh at yourself. A shadow can't chew you. But you turn and see someone who's walking away. This person. You're double. You glimpse with dismay. They continue their strolling on down the park trail while you melt into mist. A fog of gray veil. And that's why I won't go back to Mockingbird Park. I like being you. I hope you like the dark. You aren't the brightest fellow, are you, Mr. Lester? Come now, why pout? Everyone has their talents. You're an exceptionally clever thief, I'll grant you that. In the 15 years Fenwickle's Museum of Magic has been in business, I've never been robbed. Until you. What's the phrase you hoodlums use? Uh, casing the joint? You performed the task quite admirably. So, many innocent questions. How's business, Mr. Fenwickle? What's your favorite item, Mr. Fenwickle? Your ring of luck? Is it really magic, Mr. Fenwickle? Careless, I was. Probably relying too much on my ring, eh? But as I explained, given even odds, it only increases one's luck from 50% to around 66%. Still, the difference is appreciable. Even you can envision the benefits of being two-thirds lucky. So you return tonight, avoided every obstacle in the showroom, reached my upstairs bedroom, and slipped the ring off my finger. <laughs> You certainly demonstrated your talents at thievery, Mr. Lester. One might even say you were lucky. And as you crept off wearing your ill-gotten gain, your luck increased. Do you disagree? But it's true! I understand your confusion, although you correctly assume that by wearing the ring, all your chances immediately improved to 66%. You also assumed the ring of luck meant a ring of good luck. Really, Mr. Lester, everyone knows luck comes in two flavors. Before you put on the ring, the odds are 50-50 that one's bad luck will improve rather than good. Thus, in my museum, in the dark, your chances of stumbling across various objects increase to 66%. And as you've discovered, Mr. Lester, my guillotine display is 100% real. Jake Foster can't stop running his fingers through his hair. I'll never get used to this, Doc, he grins. Get wheeled in as an old man, walk out young again. Last time it took weeks, and now it's a same-day procedure. I looked down at his charts. Yes, well, there's been many advancements in the, let's see, 60 years since we last saw you. I'll say, I should have done this sooner. It's so easy now. I wouldn't call it easy, just quicker. Foster is brimming with energy, eager to rejoin the world as a healthy, virile 22-year-old. His charts look good, so I hand him the release forms. Here you go, Mr. Foster. Your wife's already been discharged, and she's waiting outside. His eyes gleam at the mention of his wife. Oh, they'll have fun tonight, but statistics show they'll split up soon. 
the young always crave fresh experiences, new knowledge. There's only one thing they never seem to learn. Not until it's too late. After Mr. Foster leaves, it's time for my next duty. In another room surrounded by machines, an old man lies waiting. Let's do this, Doc, he demands weakly. We're already done. His bald head wrinkles in confusion. I don't understand. You wanted to be downloaded into a cloned younger body. And you were. Then, why am I still here? I tap my needle, then inserted it into his IV. Haven't you ever downloaded anything before? Downloading doesn't destroy the original. That's my job. As I watch, Jake Foster's eyes widen in fear before closing forever. Just like the previous Jake Foster. 60 years ago.